Kerry, walk us through that uh, final game-winning shot by Bradley. And um, <clears throat> supposed to be, uh, you know, into the body. Um, you know, we got us a little separation there, and he got open. Um, you know, Al Horford got a good screen on T-top. Uh, he was wide open. Uh, you know, bounced on the rim for a little bit, and uh, got a game winner. And uh, we got a slice of some humble pie. So, um, you got a lot to learn going forward. Um, but they hit us in the mouth, and now it's our job to hit back. What did they do definitely without IT to get this result? Um, they played absolutely free basketball, um, and that becomes dangerous, uh, especially with a team like that. Um, guys are, you know, filling in for the void of Isaiah, um, and the freedom is just automatically there. I mean, they have really nothing to lose. So um, for us, we just have to command our focus and make sure that our execution is at a high level. In the third quarter, uh, you know, they got out. Marcus Smart started making some threes, uh, started making some plays, um, as well as other guys. And then they took advantage of our, um, you know, our schemes and, uh, you know, a lot of mistakes in our end as well. What was the difference in the way you guys were hitting threes in the first half and uh, and not so much in the in that second? Uh, just a few of them didn't go down. We had a few good looks. Um, but our mindset is still the same, just to remain aggressive. Marcus Smart isn't usually known as a guy who goes out there and hits threes, but seven out of ten, what allowed him to get open and hit those? Got in, got really comfortable out there, and um, you know played one of the best games I think of his career, and um, you know started making some shots, and uh, you know that's what happened, man. He just started getting in rhythm, and you know some of the shots that he was taking, um, you know definitely uh, we got to be prepared for, excluding myself going forward. So I uh, just got to be better on that end, and I don't know, just make it a little bit, just make it tougher for him. So the fact that he hit 17 was it almost like in waves they started to come, and the confidence starts to grow. He started coming up and getting a rhythm dribble, right. rhythm, uh, excuse me, rhythm dribble, into some three pointers and some tough ones as well. Um, and when, when they're hitting those, I mean that that really kept him in the game right there. So um, that responsibility falls on me as guarding him, and um, you know going forward, I will be better. Do you think part of this on their part was just pride after what happened in game two, and to come out and prove that that wasn't uh, who they really are? Pride, freedom. Um, desperation, everything mixed in one. Uh, that was what happened tonight. I mean, they came out in the second half with nothing to lose and made some shots. And other guys came in and just sprinkled in. A, you know, Jarepko gets a, you know, a two-pointer in the in the corner um, off our weak side help. Um, he gets another one, and I think he makes another three-pointer to start the fourth quarter. Um, and you know, they just started sprinkling some shots, and you know, they kept within the game, and um, you know, they battled us until the last the last minute. How will this carry over or into Tuesday? How will Tuesday be different? Um, well, I just learned from our mistakes and understand that uh, we got to hit. We got to hit back. I mean, it's decent conference finals. It's, you know what the playoffs are about. Anything can happen. I mean, they erase a, a 21 point deficit on a lot of our mistakes. Um, a lot of things that we can correct. Um, so we'll be in for film tomorrow, and um, we'll be all right. All right. Thanks, everybody.